Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kim inside doing another segment of My Mind Mondays. You know, today's segment of My Mind Mondays that I just want to talk about is, so as we all see in the clips, um, recently, Tua, Tua, Tua Vyloga, I hope I said it, said his last name correctly, but uh, Tua, Tua Vyloga, he um, had another concussion in which he had his uh, his hands placed, displaced again, like in a similar incident we had against the Cincinnati Bengals, ironically, on on Thursday night football. And as a coach, I know like people are gonna get ask me with my opinions on this. So I just want to get my opinion on it and uh talk about solutions on, on what I think Tua and the Miami Dolphins with precaution they should take just, you know, out of measures for uh Tua Tova Vyloga livelihood. So as like I said, as we all know, Tua Tova Vyloga on Thursday, which is ironically, he uh had a uh, had a had a typical football play with um Demar Hamlin and the football play itself, y'all, if y'all really look at it, it's just a natural football play. And it's actually a similar play to where DeMar Hamlin himself, in a similar play, which is ironic, had uh, suffered cardiac arrest, is a similar play. Like, he, he hurt himself, got a concussion. And to me, like, I was, like I know people, like I said, when I ask my opinion on it, uh, first of all, me, I've, I've had suffered multiple concussions. Um, I play football, as y'all all know, I coach football. And to me, like, I understand, like, what the Ryan Cox and the Bart Scott says on ESPN. It's, it's like, it's, there's two things about it. One, them your brothers, them your guys. Like, them the guys that can relate to you the most. And so it's hard to, to let them down when you have a concussion. I know that sounds kind of sounds alarming, but to me, myself, like, I know when I've had injuries and things like that, I didn't want to let my guys down, and I wanted to get myself back on the field as soon as possible. So that's just one thing. And then two, like like you said, um, the money. I mean, it sounds like people. I'm saying he's chasing the bag. I know he recently got he signed a new contract, but I'm pretty sure he he like man. If I could just play some more, I could get. I know they say he got ninety. I think ninety four million guarantee. I'm pretty sure he like damn. If I could just get play X amount of games, I could probably get even more money. And he's just doing that for his family because, like um, Stephen A. Smith said, it's a sacrifice that men we take for our families that we try to do the best that we can. We try to work, you know, work our tails off just to be able to provide. So I can really relate to that in on itself. Like, it's just a sacrifice that a man takes. So those are my opinions. Like, I understand, like, where he's coming from. But I also understand on the other side where, where you know, someone who hasn't played football, where they could c- c- uh, understand and comprehend what, I mean, not wanting to play football anymore just because it's just like, man, like you're taking a risk just getting out there. You might have one more hit that could change your whole life and you could be a vegetable or something. I'm not saying that's the worst case scenario, but there is worst case scenarios in these in these situations. Or, and as I say, in the next 10 years, we don't know, we don't know how his mental mindset going to be because football, life is like it's one of those sports, it can affect your long term health. And so, like, I can understand where people come at. So now I just want to really just get my solution on it. Um, so me personally, like I'm like 50 50 on this one. I feel like either A or B, I feel like Tua needs to either sit out the whole season, evaluate him, you know, evaluate some things. He, I, I see him when, he, uh, when he's going to see a neurologist. That's a good step already right there. But also, if he's not going to take, sit out the whole season, I just say, like, I encourage the uh, Miami Dolphins to put them on IR. I I see now where IR you could be on there for uh for four games, which I think is a, is a, actually a great solution for him. Just to see like that's the only just to get his thoughts back together and just being able to sit down with his family and see what the next steps is for his livelihood. I do think he needs to set out a substantial amount of time of football. So I do think that's 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 my solution. But do I think he needs to quit football? I'm not going to say so because I'm not in that man's situation. I'm not in that man's family. I'm not in that man's life. I can't, I can't make the decision for him, but I do encourage him just to take some time away from football and to figure out where his health at and where his uh, physical well-being at and just take some time just to, just to analyze the whole, whole magnitude of like what, what's going on with his life. So, so that's all this. I, I just wanted to say, man, I encourage him. I know T ain't going to never see this, but – I just encourage Tua, man, just to get your health in order, man, and just figure out what's important to you. And so, like, that's just my solution. And so I'm just saying that just to say that, man, good luck, Tua. And so with all that being said, y'all, this is Kevin Sides on another segment of My Mind Monday.
Hey, y'all, stop what y'all doing. I know the video is over with, but while y'all at it, like, comment, subscribe, and also follow the Instagram page. I ain't going to send y'all the link. Y'all going to see it down below. So continue to show your support. And also, I want to say y'all have a good day.